Okay, so this is Tommy, and this is my little homemade nebulizer chamber. Um, so I've got like a, a plastic bag, and this is a, sort of a breeder cage, right? So I put the plastic bag over that, right? And here is a little uh, nebulizer that I bought off of Amazon, and it's got a mixture of um, uh, Esmerferin, es okay, you can get that from Amazon also, and uh, and a, a Batril solution, about 1% uh, Batril solution mixed together, um, and uh, okay, so now I just uh, push this button and the mist will start, starts green, it'll turn blue, mist is coming out, then I close it up, okay, yeah. And uh, it's basically good enough for government work. All right, now he's getting the uh, aerosol. So basically, this is kind of a triple threat because uh, what's going on here is he's in a nice, see that's a heating pad, so it's warm in there. He's got some uh, nice uh, mist going on in there to kind of uh, loosen up his lung secretions. Um, this stuff here uh, effectively opens up his airways and then the batrial solution so that basically causes the batrial to penetrate deep into his uh, you know his airways um, and uh, obviously we're also giving him batrial orally as well and uh, doxycycline um, and so this this is actually so basically the bacteria is getting hit from it, um, you know, with the Batril and, and the antibiotics from both sides, from, from, from the inside, you know, through his lung tissue and from the outside. And the thing about mycoplasma is that it's a very hard infection to, to clear because the bacteria hides inside the airways, like in all the little air passages, you know, your lung is like, is like a maze, it's like a sponge, you know. And um, it's hard for the antibiotics coming up through your lung tissue to penetrate through all of that. So this is just another way that we can get the antibiotics there to the bacteria where it can do some good. Um, so it's actually, um, you know, uh, getting, so because, it, because it's very moist, so it kind of softens up the mucus and it's getting, it's kind of liquefies it a bit, it's getting absorbed in there. And this is open, again, it's opening up his airways. It causes the, um, you know, the muscles to expand in the air and the little passages to, uh, you know, to uh, kind of relax and, and open up a bit. So that uh, um, vapor with the uh, um, antibiotic can, uh, can kind of penetrate as deep as possible into his lungs. Um, and, um, I actually started doing this, uh, yesterday, several times a day. I mean, he was like goner. He was really in bad shape. We thought he was going to die. And we literally, he was at the point where we couldn't, uh, actually give him, uh, any more, um, you know, oral antibiotics. He was even having trouble taking any liquids because he was choking. So kind of as a last resort, I'm, so, I'm like, well, let me see if there's any research, um, of, you know, people giving antibiotics, uh, you know, like through an aerosol, because we already had this nebulizer that we're using anyway to, you know, to help him breathe. I'm like, is there any way that I can give him antibiotics the same way? And um, it turns out that um, that fluoroqu I think it's called fluoroquinolins, uh, so basically um, uh, ciprofloxin, is already being researched uh, in cystic fibrosis patients and also rats too, um, you know, delivered uh, through aerosol. Um, so it's a, it's a very fine aerosol powder, but you know, this is, I mean, this effectively the same idea. It's, um, I, you know, hopefully it's, it seems to be working. Um, so Batril is, is of the same family and it's a century cithro it's, uh, but uh, Cithro actually gets converted to, to uh, uh, I forget what the uh, chemical name for Batril is, in the, in the body. It's probably passed through the liver or something and we take it orally and then it gets converted. So this, this is essentially what was being researched. And so here we go. Um, uh, I started giving the tomb yesterday and I, I'm telling you, he was not eating. He wasn't drinking. He was literally on death's door. This rat... 
this morning was eating again. I left the food in there. I had no hope that he would eat it. He had actually eaten his food. I gave him two more uh, of, of his uh, rat chow. He ate all of it. Okay, I'm able to give him, um, you know, antibiotics and stuff, liquids orally now. He's running around. He didn't look so good because he's sleepy. I mean, it's during the day. He's a nocturnal animal. He even tried to bite me a little bit. You know, I mean, I'm not happy he tried to bite me. Okay, so you can, I don't know if you can hear this, but the hissing has stopped. So, um, so this thing runs for about five minutes um, and it shuts off automatically. And so now this whole air enclosed area is full of this really dense fog of um of this um of, of this medicine uh, which is is sort of like epinephrine or something it, it expands his lungs um and the batrol and the humidity and uh, and it's very warm so he's basically breathing this in and i'm gonna let him breathe it in for another 10 minutes i'm not gonna take a movie that long don't worry and um and I'll bet you by the t by that time he's going to be much better. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for a while. Um, I don't know for how much longer. Um, then hopefully oral antibiotics should be enough. But uh, you know apparently this is be this this is actually being researched for use in cystic fibrosis patients uh, as a maintenance. Um, you know, uh, uh, medical procedure, um, you know, because they have, they have really thick secretions and it's hard for the antibiotics, you know, to, to do their job. So it's a, kind of the same problem that Tommy had, you know, he had really thick mucus, I'm sure. Um, and, uh, you know, mycoplasma is just hard to kill anyway, those little tough little critters. And um, so it, it could very well be that I might, you know, I might give this to him like maybe once a day or something like that for a long time effectively um but i i'm telling you right now i am absolutely 100 percent sure that this guy his his life was literally saved by this procedure if you if you have a rat which is on death's door because of respiratory infection and and you don't try this uh i mean i would almost say that you know i i feel you should, all right? I'm not going to take this, no moral judgment. Go on Amazon. I'll put all the information in the body of this post. Go on Amazon, and you can buy everything you need except for the Baytrill, which you're going to have to buy through eBay, eBay online because you know how it is. It's, it's a prescription medicine. And you can get a big jar of this stuff. <clears throat> it's going it's to it's gonna be enough to last you a long time, 99% pure. Uh, this stuff, it just works great. So, okay, um, that's all I have to say right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.